Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week, we will be talking about Wizzle's extensions updates, a PlayStation Boot ISO, the Nintendo 64 core, an upcoming FPGA Game Boy Color, and more. Also, if you are in the market for a full Mr. FPGA or looking for accessories, you can check out the channel sponsor, MrAddons.com. So now let's get to the news. Hello everyone. I appreciate all the help I get from my viewers. Some have helped support my channel through donations in the comments, and I'm grateful for having viewers that are willing to give extra support. Other viewers have asked me if I have a Patreon, and I've been hesitant to set one up because it would be pretty difficult to offer anything extra than what I'm doing now. But after many inquiries, I've been convinced to set one up, but it will only have one tier at $1 a month. If in the future I'm able to provide anything extra, I'll consider adding another higher tier. So if you want to support my channel on a monthly basis, you can find me at patreon.com forward slash lou underscore source. And please only support if you're able to, because you're still supporting by just being a regular viewer and that means a lot to me too. The following updates have been made to the Mega Drive core. There was a fix to the SVPDMA, tweaks and fixes in 4-way and team player multi-taps, reset was reworked which fixes X-Men's final boss fight, and there was a fix for VGA Interlace Video by Cray Elliott. The Linux distribution for Mr. has added support for more gamepads, thanks to James McCarthy and Shig. Wizzle's Mr. FPGA extensions has been updated to support Sega Saturn CHDs, and a new game search integration was added to the NSC UI script. Uber Yoji posted several development updates of the PlayStation Boot ISO. The 3D model of Mr. Kuhn has improved geometry and is now lit and colored. When this ISO is released, it is meant to be an alternate boot screen for the PlayStation Core. Hotego has decided to consolidate some cores. This will not affect the way games run, but will help Hotego maintain these cores. The games being consolidated are Volgus, 1942, and Higemaru. Hotego felt there were enough similarities between the hardware for these games to combine them into the new JT1942 core. If you are interested in what the differences are, then check out the thread Hotego posted about it. A missing CPU function that increases the throughput of the CPU has been implemented to the Nintendo 64 core. This change can improve the performance in some games. For example, in some scenes, the StarCraft frame rate increased from 30 frames per second to 39 frames per second. And the Nintendo 64 microphone is now supported, thanks to testing done by Mr. Dolch. Martin Donlin posted a notice that Mr. Laggies are back in stock. This is a $12 lag testing device for any display that is plugged into the Mr. FPGA. I created a video demonstrating it, so if you are interested, check it out. An FPGA based Game Boy Color is coming soon. Being developed by the company Funny Playing, it is meant to be an alternative to a Game Boy Color and will feature all of its functionality along with enhancements like an IPS screen. USB-C port, and rechargeable battery. It will not have an SD card slot, so expect it to only run Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges. So this is not a competitor to the analog pocket. It is expected to only cost $70, and at that price, it looks to be a compelling purchase as long as the quality is up to snuff. I hope that if this device is using code from open source cores, that it abides by the license and gives a proper credit. Unfortunately, its firmware is currently encrypted and the company went out of its way to hide what FPGA chip it is using. However, the people at the FPGA Gaming Discord were able to figure that out. The device hasn't been released yet, so I hope the secrecy is due to that, and once it's officially released, any open source licenses are properly followed. If you want more information about this device, check out videos by Mako and Taki Uran. If you are interested in seeing the status of games for the Sega Saturn Core and the Nintendo 64 Core, there are online spreadsheets for both consoles that can help you find out if your favorite games are working. The Sega Saturn sheet has info like if a game works in both dual and single RAM mode, what's not working, and some important information about getting the core and games working. The N64 sheet lets you know if games are playable, completable, and other important information. Wizzle now has a guide on creating your very own NFC scanner that can be used to launch games directly from an NFC card. This scanner is also much smaller than the ones you can get on Amazon, 
and therefore can be implemented easier in projects like arcade cabinets or into small cases. I also created a video on NFC scanning, so check it out if that interests you. This past week, I released two new videos. One video involves talking about how to set up the Mr. FPGA software. Another video is about building a Mr. Kit from scratch using Mr. Add-ons aluminum cases. These are good videos for people who are just starting to get into the Mr. FPGA and can show them exactly what is involved to get a full kit manually set up. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.